Hello, speech superstars. This is an activity that if your parents are able to get a copy of this paper, then you can do following directions. So what I mean is, if I showed you this picture right here, we have a line of colors, a line of dogs, a line of bugs, they're all insects except one because that spider got on here, and a line of vehicles. So what you could do is something very simple like point to the red one, and you could pretend that this mouse is your finger. You would point to the red one. Your mom or dad could say, point to two dogs, and you could point to one, two. That would be two dogs. What if somebody told you to point to an insect? Would you point to the dog? Is a dog an insect? No. You would look down here and find an insect. You could point to the ladybug. Another one would be point to a vehicle. And a vehicle is something that takes you somewhere. So you could point to a bus. Now, if we wanted to make it even trickier, you could do two steps, like first point to yellow, then point to the butterfly. Yellow butterfly. Make it even trickier and add some concepts, like point to the dog that is first. So that would be the number one in the row. Or you could do something like point to the third insect. First, second, third insect. There it is. You got it. Another thing you could do is point to something that is not a vehicle. So that means we would be looking for one of the other pictures that is not a vehicle. If I was told to pick something that is not a vehicle, I'm going to point to green. But you could point to any of these. Okay. So that's one of the pages, and I'm going to link that so that if anybody is working on following directions, your parents can find this paper for you. Here's another one. I'm going to move myself over a little bit. Okay, this is kind of similar, but it has more pictures on it, and they're a little bit more mixed up. So, for example, all of this in the second row, those are all things, ways that you could feel. But in the other parts, they're mixed up like things you could use at school. I could find things I use at school. Hmm, a cat? No, but stickers I can use at school. Glue I can use at school. Pencils I can use at school. Those are all school supplies. What if I said, point to all of the drinks? I could go up to the top and find hot chocolate. And then I could find water and orange juice and soda. If I said all the things that are hot, ooh, I could go back up to hot chocolate and the sun. And things that live in the desert, rattlesnakes, lizards, cactus. Okay, so this page has some of those concepts too that you can use for following directions but it also has categories and vocabulary. So I'm going to figure out how to link this up here, or you can just use it on your screen and mute me and do whatever you wanna do and just touch it with your finger, okay? So if you're watching this on your mom or dad's phone or on a tablet or on a computer, you can do it either way. So remember though, if you're gonna do it that way, just make sure that you can't hear Mrs. Stolfa talking, and then maybe your mom and dad could help you with the following directions. Have a great time following directions.